here they come, Mr. and Mrs. Florida Sunshine, Guy and Corinne, off for one of those romantic, working on their relationship, tropical vacations. And here we are, Wacko Joaquin, the only guy I ever went with who didn't figure out I was smarter. Nikki, his autonomy impaired kid brother, and me, Solange, in basic bad guy black. Now, was there a two-for-one special on those suits? Hey, anybody can make a million dollars in Costa Rica. You just gotta come down with two million. <laughs> Have a safe trip. Don't die. I promise, you're gonna have fun. So, we're going where they're going. And they're going, you guessed it, on the adventure of a lifetime. Nobody likes Silver Point Shores. They love it. Guy's idea of fun is fondling his cell phone. Corinne's idea of fun, whoops, doesn't apply. Listen, here's what you do. You take him down to the water. Will you get him to take off his shoes? Will get him to roll up his trousers? I don't care if he's wearing a Zanega suit. You're not selling real estate, you're selling real escape. You're selling goddamn sanity. We're in La Iguana. There are two cabanas down in El Mono Congo. A what? Howler monkeys. Now Joaquin's idea of fun is boring the shit out of everyone. Whatever happened to beer, babe, sunburn? I mean, people used to go on vacations to get a tan, and now they go to watch fucking turtles lay eggs. And Nikki's idea of fun is telling him he's boring the shit out of everyone. Because tanning's bad for you. I hate guys that don't wear socks. <sighs> what if I can't have fun? What'd I tell you? We'll find your therapist. I am vacation challenged, okay? I, I, I don't think I can do this. Your brain is gonna have an endorphin orgy. I can't. You have to go. What do they do with your vegetarian meal? Everything's bad for you, son. Smokes, cheesecake. I mean, people have been robbed of the small pleasures of life, so they have to do bad shit against their fellow man to counteract the guilt of modern existence. Can't you get into the vacation mindset? Relaxing gives my brother hemorrhoids. A vacation mindset. Okay. Hey, Paristas, be our guest in paradise. Lie back and soak up the sun as you sip one of our world-famous cocktails. While above you, squirrel monkeys and toucans frolic. The teeming wonders of the rainforest are all yours. Now my idea of fun. Well, you'll see. <laughs> Why do we do what we do? Only answer I have is, if we didn't go through the absurdist bullshit, we'd die bored. Love your hat. I gotta get me one of those. So, uh, bet you're going to one of those fun-in-the-sun places, huh? Uh, um, uh, Costa Rica? No shit, Costa Rica? That's where I'm going. <gasps> you know what? If you're going there, you might need one of these. Voila. Le pocket pissoir. Listen, girl to girl, no woman should travel to distant lands without one of these bad boys to forever put her mind at rest about gross-out, far-fest toilets. 
cups with this little gizmo, a girl can pee standing up. All you have to do is face the toilet and lift the seat and place the pocket pissoir firmly over your pubic area. Hey, honey, where are you going? Take one. You're making a big mistake. Make sure you are standing close enough to the toilet. Relax and you're ready to go. <laughs> that was really, 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 really stupid. Which still makes my IQ higher than yours. Have a safe trip. 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 Have a safe we hop skip over to the competition, arrive 20 minutes later, but we have 10% more legroom. See that point out there? See it? I used to swim out to that point every morning before breakfast last time I was here. Now for the Marimba strip team. Put some bills in there and I'll take off the rest.
Get the hell away from me. I'm mm, not so sure I can. You crazy bitch. I'd play straight with you and you kidnap my goddamn wife. Your little wife's just fine. She'll be staying nearby. Okay, there isn't a pool. I mean, why did you have to bring Corinne into it? Now, you brought this on yourself. Truth hurts. Reality check number one. You walk off with 6.2 million that doesn't belong to you. Now, there's going to be consequences. I wasn't walking off. OK, bungee jumping. I came down here to do your fucking deal. As you may recall. As you may recall. You came to me to do your fucking deal, and that's what I'm doing. Now, given the fact that it's our money, it looks just a little je ne sais quoi. When you make a withdrawal, I'll buy your lonesome and split for Costa Rica. This is my place of business. I do more business down here than in West Palm, Coral Gables, Palm Beach, okay. Key Biscayne. Now, this is your most endearing quality. Honey, you're a natural-born bullshitter. Thank you. Now, where's the fucking money? Listen, I traded your paper for shares in a teak plantation in Guanacaste. Teak? I'm expecting a call tonight from a Honduran financer named Guardia. He's willing to trade the teak for 4.8 million in securities. Cashable anywhere in the world. Presto, 6.2 becomes 4.8 million clean, wholesome, vacuum packed, perfumed American dollars. Guy, you're a fucking verbal Houdini. Hey. Hey. I can't handle your rejection, guy. Well, 6.2 million buys a lot of compensation for unrequited love. Come on, guy. You used to like me. <laughs> Let's stick to business. So you do like me. Let's just stick to business. All my taste dubious. Let's just stick to business. <gasps> this is business. This is called fucking your partner. Look, I can't do this. Oh, no problem. Why don't you take a few days off? Go visit a butterfly farm. I got two words for you. Work ethic. Yeah, that's really easy for you to say. You get to go back to the fucking resort. Mrs. Fenley, let us escort you to your new accommodations. Vista de Bonanos. Can I offer you a beer, Miss Findlay? OK, we kidnapped you. Live with it. Look, I'm not going to hurt you, OK? I'm trying to get through this thing just like you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. OK, 
sure you are. You know the small talk type. <laughs> You know it's gonna be a long night when one guy's torturing small animals. You ever read Getting the Yes? And the other guy's quoting self-help books. First rule of negotiation. Separate the players from the problem. I mean, we're all reasonable people here, right? You won't believe me, but this kidnap thing wasn't my idea. But Joaquin wants a kidnap, so hey, it's National Kidnap Week. Shares to a teak plantation in Guanacaste. This time tomorrow, we'll each walk away with 1.2 million. Wrong. Each of us walks away with 1.6. You walk away with your wife and some souvenir t-shirts. Fine. Then I don't deal. Fine. Then we kill your wife. Want something to eat? No, of course not. That would require opening your mouth. I think I wouldn't like to be back in paradise, too, eating shrimp marinated in tamarind and lime. I could kill you if I wanted to. I could rape you, and I could dismember you. We don't have to get into all the gory possibilities, Mrs. Findlay. OK, you win. I could kill you, but I can't make you talk. Shoot me. Go ahead. I mean it. Shoot me. I was in a car accident. I almost died. I think about death all the time. So go ahead. Kill me. Fucking kill. Sure you don't want a beer? idea what's going on here, do you? <laughs> Besides the peace of mind money can't buy? Six point two million dollars, I'm sorry to say your husband owes us. Stole from us. Big surprise. Didn't know you were happily married to a crook. Tell me, what exactly do you think Guy does down here? He sells real estate, foreign investment, vacation, retirement homes. Guy Findlay, paradise property. You know what the real natural beauty down here is? Huge areas of land aren't registered. It's, it's like the law of the jungle. You can sell the same land over and over again. You can sell someone else's land over and over again. You know who told me that? Your husband, pitching his little real estate deals is a perfect way for us to launder our money. <sighs> oh, now he's a money launderer. No, he's been one for a long time. And this $6.2 million you say he stole from you, where did that come from? 
Well, let's just say one day we all decided to empty out our piggy banks. Maybe a few others as well. What about this scenario? There have been a lot of tourist kidnaps down here. You guys decided to get in on the game. You know Guy has a lot of money. How do you sleep at night? I'm an insomniac. The challenge of testosterone. I get my wife back or he dies. Go ahead, kill him. But you're not getting your wife back till we get our money. You got your priorities straight. Get the phone. We'll discuss it with her. Talk all you want. But I get Krim back, or you join the cosmic compost heap. <laughs> what? Jesus, where do you get this shit? Just say, I get Corinne back, or you die. I get Corinne back, or you die. So, we dialing? <laughs> I got Mr. President on the line. Could you hold, please? Nikki. We got a little problem. Guy misses his wife. Could you put her on, please? Corinne, you okay? I love you. <laughs> Guy, did you steal money from these people? No, 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 no. It's just a little misunderstanding. Yeah, we'll have it all worked out in a few hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take you for a sunrise ride on the beach. Inspirational. Okay, my turn. Hey, Corinne, babe, you're doing great. A <laughs> real trooper. Now, will you put my brother on, please? Nikki. <laughs> Guy's aiming a gun up my left nostril. Do me a favor, I'll hold. If you hear a gunshot, put a hole through her head. I'm gonna give them back to you now. Take the goddamn phone, or I'll send her to the cosmic compost heap. It's like he says, guy. I'm starved. We're going to dinner. Anybody can make a movie. You're not selling real estate. You're selling real estate. You know what I don't get about you criminals? It's the way you just bop people off. Boom. A little gunshot to the head over like that. Like you're killing a chicken. What's the point? I mean, murder. Should be an act of passion. Severed limbs? Blood all over the ceiling? Look, I didn't want to do this, okay? Then why did you do it? Why are you married to Guy? Did I miss a beat? At least I know when I'm fucking up. You want to know why I kidnapped you? Because $1.6 million means I don't have to front stolen VCRs anymore, or sell fake perfume at flea markets, or do phone sales for a miracle muscle powder that's cut with Kool-Aid, or play little errand boy to a bunch of brass hats while I refill their goddamn boats. Or eat frozen burritos till they're oozing out of my fucking pores. But maybe you can't relate. Are you sure you don't want a sandwich? No. I'd rather have shrimp with tamarind than mine. I walk, what are you gonna do? Shoot me over the bocas? Go ahead. Walk. Where are you gonna go? The police? The embassy? No. What are you gonna tell them? Uh, 
I stole their money, so they stole my wife. Or are you gonna comb the jungle for yourself in those cute little baby blue shoes? Would you mind if I sketch? It's my coping mechanism. It's what keeps me sane. The real question isn't if you can sketch. It's if I'll untie you. However you want to say it. Joaquin does not eat seafood. I only eat things that breathe air. Things he can identify with. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog philosophy brought to the dinner table. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Senor Finley. Pleasant trip, I hope. You could say so, though. Air travel today, you know, the lines, the hubs, the security checkpoints, the stewardesses with their carts of styrofoam pig swill. Voyaging is not what it used to be. Well, you got the papers? You betcha. Tomorrow at noon, I'll call and I'll tell you where we'll meet. Let's do it now. Why waste anybody's time? I said mañana. Noon tomorrow, he'll call about a rendezvous. Great. So we twiddle our thumbs in the fucking rainforest while some greaseball named Guardia calls or doesn't call and maybe will and maybe won't cough up some cash that he may or may not have. Trust Joaquim to give it an existential spin. Must be nice having a talent for something. Well, everybody's got a talent. Drawing, cooking, kidnapping. Yeah. Well, based on my experience tonight, I'd say it's not my true calling. Oh? What is? So, since it's not your true calling, we might not be here, say, if you'd gone and seen a career counselor. I'm just saying I don't see this as part of my five-year plan. You want me to think you're not a bad guy? I already know you're not. I mean, given the situation, you've been chivalrous to a fault. You know, I'll bet if we'd have met under different circumstances, say, watching the mermaid show at Magic Lagoon on Sunken Treasure Night, maybe we'd have even gone home together. But instead, I'm collateral for $6.2 million. And you're lying. What, I'm not collateral? If we'd met under other circumstances, the only thing you would have said to me is, another glass of Chardonnay, please. And the snapper's cold. What's that? Turtle egg, Costa Rican Viagra. Fucking endangered species, and people put them in their drinks. The world's a bad place there, Waka. Try it. You spit in my drink. That's the worst fucking shit I've ever tasted. You spit in my drink, you buy me another drink. Uno mas, por favor.
Why don't you just whip out your dicks and measure? Do you mind if I uh, use the bathroom? What are you doing in there? sketch so you wouldn't go crazy. Do you think I would have said yes if I thought you were going to do a fucking mugshot? Forgive me for not being sensitive enough to your guilty criminal mind. I was going to give it to you. I'm touched. A little souvenir of our time together. But you're the one who won't let me take a piss without breaking down the fucking door. devotion because I assure you he has the money nighty night won't let the bed bugs bite After my accident, I wasn't able to make myself get out of bed. There was this table in my room, and I put things on it. Shoes, electric toothbrush, and I draw. Draw all day. When I was able to get up, I went throughout the house drawing everything. Rowing machine, innards of a computer. 
So eventually I was able to get out. And I do the same thing, block by block, drew my way back into the world. It wasn't an accident. Guy had 6.2 million in hot securities. He was supposed to exchange with us for cash. Take his 25%. He started banging us for more. He was too far in for us to cut him out. So Joaquin decided to teach him a lesson. Another one of his bullshit moves. So he screwed with the brakes on the guy's car. None of us thought that you'd be driving. Guy knew? Getting kinky? Depends on what you're into. I forgot you're happily married. No, you forgot. I'm kidnapped. Are you not going to regret this in the morning? How did you put it? I could kill you if I wanted to. I could dismember you. You made your point. No, I haven't. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can work this out. I don't like being kidnapped. I got that. Jesus Christ. Christ, where the hell did you learn how to shoot? Guy insisted I learn. Well, hasta luego. Here's your chance. Blood on the ceiling.
Karen. It's over. Your passport. Sorry. You win, okay? Just go. But there's a town two or three miles from here. You can get a ride from there. Just. Banana pie, banana bread, banana fritters. Last night I wrote a note for Guy, and I stuck it on the conveyor line. And right now it's halfway to Miami in a banana barge. <laughs> Next time, I flush. Servir la ensalada de frutas a estos maes. Como darle balas a los sandinistas. Anything you'd like to share with us, guys? Well, I would like to share the finer points of our fuck last night. I've never done it tied to a chair. <laughs>
Get dressed. Just do what he says. Shut up! Put your clothes on right now or I kill him. And I swear to God. Guy. Look, you've always, you've always taken care of me, good care of me, all right? But we both know it doesn't work anymore. Guy. So you get into bed with this piece of shit? Shall we talk about the car accident I was in? How I'm almost killed on account of your sleazy dealings and you said nothing to me. Or the fact that this little vacation is really a money laundering expedition, honey. I got kidnapped because you ripped off your partners. Look, I haven't always been a good man in a lot of ways. But I love you. Oh, guy. You always make everything so simple, don't you? And I make it complicated. We can talk about this later. There is... There is no later, Kai. When this is all over, when it's all over, if you want to leave me then, fine. But right now, I'm getting you out of here. I don't need you to rescue me anymore. Where's your passport? I had you sign one of the documents. Where is your passport? Guy. Did you come here for me or for my passport? Just go with him, Karen. Stay out of it! It's too late for that. I didn't want any more target practice. We know whose dick is bigger. He had it coming. We all do. <laughs> if you can believe it, I'm sorry.
Why the fuck do you do that? Because I have bad impulse control. And because if we'd let her go, she'd bunny hop to the cops, the embassy, Interpol. Great. Let's kill somebody else. Speaking of which, I didn't hear a thank you for saving your fucking life. Thank you for saving my fucking life. Con mucho gusto. Two million dollars. Sunk in a fucking tea plantation we can't even touch. So, we pack it in, get some discount and dental work. Guardia's calling in an hour. We don't have Guy. We don't have Guy's signature on the transfer document. We don't have shit! Who the hell is Guardia anyway? A Honduran financier? Forge the fucking signature. Is this fucking racism? Just because he's from fucking Honduras, you don't think he's gonna eyeball the signature off the goddamn page? Particularly when we tell him that guy just happened to go whitewater rafting and sent us instead. Because even a Honduran crook's gonna be too smart to deal with some fucking bozos. Even good old American bozos. He doesn't know. Speaking of bozos, weren't you the one holding the gun when it just happened to go off? About Guy's signature. Guy gave me power of attorney. He, I'm sure the documents are still in his briefcase. He used to talk about how I wouldn't have to deal with probate if anything should ever happen to him. But I was good with contingencies. I can get you your money. But first I want my hat. Sitting around in paradise waiting for a call from your money launderer it reminds me of the poem by the famous Nicaraguan poet Elio Puente. Fuck the postcards and post sunsets. You can't take it with you. Fire ants and sea urchin spines, scorpions, dengue, and hunger. Paradise costs. Uh, Senor Guardia? Buenos dias. Yeah. This is Corinne Finley, Guy's wife. Ah, Senora Finley, que placer. Th there's been an accident. Guy, he drowned. Oh, Senora Finley, I'm so sorry. Um, I know that um, Guy was here to close a deal with you. And, Guy gave me power of attorney, and, and I'm, pr I'm prepared to act in his stead. I'm sorry, Mrs. Finley, that's not possible. All the documents are in order. I'm sorry, Mrs. Finley, I can't do that. I've got the papers, my, my passport, you can verify my signature. I'm sorry, Mrs. Finley. I'll drop the price to four. Okay, I look at your documents, but I'm not promising anything. Oh, uh, where do I meet you? Playa Orquídeas. North of Rio Negro, there's a small landing with a boat. Can you operate an outboard motor? That's not a problem. Follow the canal straight down, three o'clock. Wait for me there. And Mrs. Finley, come alone. Okay, let's run. Hide till night, we'll get to the nearest town. No. Vicky, I want you to have the money. Let's just go. Now listen, we follow them in the boat, and then on the canal, we lose them. Call it no more frozen burritos. <laughs> He'll kill you. Can you believe there are no boogie boards?
<laughs> so anybody else? Take only pictures, leave only urine. still pissed off about that kiss now, are you? Wait a minute, this isn't on account of me and Guy now, is it? You knew about us. Maybe you didn't. Now, I'll be the first to say, I was his bad side, you were his good. Give me the gun. Give me the gun, Solange.
going to lower a basket. Put the documents inside. If everything's in order, I'll send down the security. If you want the documents, you need to take me with you. Mrs. Finley, that wasn't our deal. People after me, their business partners, some guys, they follow me to the beach. They're gonna kill me. You weren't straight with me, were you? I can't get involved in this. Please, they're gonna kill me. Mrs. Finley, you want a deal or not? Something just fell out of a tree. The teeming wonders of the rainforest are all yours. I just shot a snake. I don't know what kind of snake it was. Okay, ciao.
Some people say everything happens for a reason. We're just too dumb to figure out what that reason is. That's when Salon showed Joaquin that sketch of me. He asked me if I was with you or him, and I, I could only give him one answer. Why didn't you give me a clue? Joaquin's like a bloodhound. He would have seen through the whole, the whole thing. I had to wait for the right time. <laughs> I guess I found it. Now I know why you're not taking my calls. Get back. Get back. So, I'll have to put aside brotherly love and the ties that bind and ask you to put your gun on the ground. We having fun, Corinne? Are we happy campers? Why'd we come here, Nikki? We were fucking stupid to come here, weren't we? Corinne! Babe! I need those securities! Stay back, Corinne. If you come out, he'll kill you. Modern existence. The disintegration of the family. The loyalty. Down the toilet. Corinne! Stay back! Do yourself a favor. Hell, do us all a favor. Come out and bring out those securities. Because if you don't, I regret to say, I'll have to kill Nikki. He's mind fucking, Corinne. Stay back. When they say blood's thicker than water, looks like cum's thicker than blood. Corinne, search your little soul. If you la 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 love him, you're willing to bet his life? Could you live with yourself if I kill him? No, stay back! your plan. Go. You're a nice girl, aren't you, Corinne? Not anymore. The kind of girl that has a suicidal crisis over a double latte at least once a week. Maybe every now and again. You buy yourself something naughty at Victoria's Secret. 
have one vodka tonic too many, and for a big thrill, you stop into a spanker's chat room. And if we hadn't come along, you'd still be sitting in your Mac Daddy mansion painting pretty little landscapes. You're right, Joaquin. Except for the landscapes. Joaquin in. It's funny. You have an accident meant for Guy. Nikki takes a bullet meant for you. You've got securities meant for me. And I've lost all my souvenirs. Dead. Joaquim? Dead. Shit. Where are you? The beach. Gorgeous, isn't it? But they will turn it into Cancun yet. You wait. Guess we took you for a ride. He is so great at accents. You should hear his armor fud. He is Guardia. You're Guardia. You set it up from the beginning. I'm bad to the bone. Then this is worthless. I was hoping you'd do my portrait. I don't think you can afford it. The document I signed? My signature's good, but not the passport number I wrote next to it. To quote my late husband, in Costa Rica, your signature can look like a hairball. What matters is that the passport number is valid. I had a client lost half a million dollars that way. So, the grieving widow is set to inherit 6.2 million worth of shares in a seed plantation, which still remains in her late husband's name. I'm beginning to see what guy saw in you. Of course, I'm still going to need someone to launder it for me. Wonder if 
there was any place around here we could get a decent margarita. Like I was saying about absurdist bullshit, nothing happens the way you plan it. Unless you plan to be the butt of some cosmic joke. Me?